few weeks ago, I happened to be back in Alexandria, and I was honored to have a meal with you, and you invited me to come to your church. Uh, it's empty, no, yeah. except for a few people there. Prayer room, yeah. And you had a tabernacle we set up. Built, built uh, to order, yeah. I mean, it was, was it the size. actual, actual size. Every of measure. the furniture of the tabernacle. Exact size. And, and you began to walk. I'd never heard this. I'd never heard the tabernacle prayer. I didn't know what it was. And and he and I thought, man, this is unbelievable. Look at this. Well, he, had, you, he had an altar that was the, the same dimensions as you read in the book of Exodus yeah. and all the other pieces. Yeah. And you began one by one to walk me through the tabernacle prayer. Yeah. And I know that you knew all about it. Well, well I went and prayed with him. About two I weeks went, you. Yeah, I went in December to, to, to talk. You know, we were talking about the program and honor spent. And he walked me through the I thought we were just going to tour it. It is he a prayed brilliant prayer outline. Get, if you will pray this prayer, folks. I mean, he, you can go through it and as fast as you want to yeah, or as long fat, as you want to. 10 minutes or 10 but hours. But if you'll pray this, maybe get a pen and a piece of paper. Yes. Or turn your, you know, your deal on and record this because or, or you've, got a, you've got a book. We got, uh, yeah, we've got a book coming out in May. But, got a book but, I, May, but I think you should walk through this because this this will cover well, every you. aspect yes. of your life. Thank so you. as we go in to do it, go on Amazon, get love like you never hurt. True. And then in May, get Heaven to Earth by Anthony Mangan. Yeah. We got um, the DVDs now. We have the DVDs now. Yeah, they can the, order that. And, that the book, and the book is coming yeah. in May. Yeah, one Sunday, one Sunday night, I, I had that taken from our prayer room. I put it on the platform. And that DVD is, I prayed that tabernacle in front of the church. It put, helped me. I put the whole church there, uh, heaven to earth, and I prayed the whole tabernacle. Uh, I put all those pieces up on the platform, and we prayed that. What I appreciate about TBN is that they allow for the move of the Holy Spirit. We believe in the demonstration of the Holy Spirit, and we, we make room for Jesus. It's, this is a network dedicated to making Jesus famous throughout the world, and we make room for Jesus. And Jesus is here right now yeah. through your anointing well, to you. lead us in prayer through the tabernacle. Okay. And I believe that millions of people, because this program is being seen around the world, millions upon millions of people's lives are about to be impacted yeah. by the Holy Spirit because of what's going to take place in the next yeah. 10 minutes. Well, the tabernacle... Uh, consume so many things. I mean, you can see the cross. Uh, That's right. When you look at the tabernacle, uh, the, you can find the gospel. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15 that the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection. You find uh, the altar of repentance. You find the laver of water where we baptize in Jesus' name. You find the infilling of the Holy Ghost where that God baptized. You, you, can find, you can find everything in the tabernacle. But Dad, Dad took it and put it to prayer. And it's the most powerful thing. He he, he went to that gate before we ever entered in. All those pieces were done. And he said, you got to enter the gates with thanksgiving and praise. So the first thing we do in our prayer at Alexandria is we start praising God and giving God the glory and the honor. So before then, you ask, you praise. You praise God before you I do anything. Love, you said that that yeah. day. You said, don't ever just go in and say, God, here's no, my grocery list. No, But you before you ask, you praise. You start giving glory and honor to God. And then you get to that that piece of furniture and what Jensen uh, referred to a while ago is when you look at it in proportion to the ark, that ark could fit inside that altar probably four or five times. The altar of repentance, the brazen altar is so much bigger than the ark. We want big arcs. We want miracles and signs and wonders, but we want little altars. Wow. Your, your ark can't be bigger than your altar. Your ark can't Come be on. bigger than That's your so altar. Good. Your altar has to be bigger than your ark. Mm. And so then we go in and we get on repentance and we repent before God. And the, the greater the repentance, the closer you get to the presence of God. And then we leave there and we go to that laver of water. And praying the tabernacle, that's the washing of the Word. And that's when we pick up this book and that's where I read the book and that's where I study the book. At that particular time, I, can't, I don't allow God to speak to me about a message. That's my personal devotion time. Mm -hmm. I pray this every morning before I ever get on Facebook or, or Instagram or, or Twitter or phone or anything. I first of all have to talk to God. Yeah. And so then you get to those five posts. You Outside, you're in the outer court now, but now you're getting ready to go into the holy place. And uh, there were five posts there. That's Bible. What's, what Daddy added is he named those posts, which was wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. So we talk about how he's wonderful. We talk to counsel. Ask God to counsel me passing that church. Counsel me being a father. Counsel me being a husband. Counsel my staff. Counsel me God. Counsel my children. Give them wisdom and knowledge. And he said if you'll ask for that wisdom. He said that. In James, it'll be given he to said, you. He said we, that. We have not because we ask not. We ask not. Isn't that amazing? Ask, seek, and knock. 
Knock, it'll be undoubtedly, if you don't do that, the door ain't going to be open and you ain't going to find. So who wouldn't want to ask, seek, and knock? So everlasting Father, Counselor? Count, the God, uh, wonderful Counselor, the mighty God, and that's where I talk about His great creation. And then the everlasting Father, it's where I talk about what you're going through, things that He went through. If I know anyone that's in there, I pray for them, God, put your arms around them. Mm. Become your father to them right now. They're hurting. You lost your wife, your kids. I know you're still battling with your children mm. and, and, and things that they're probably questioning about their mom. Father them, oh God. Put your arms around them. Hold so them good. close. And then we go to Prince of Peace. Put peace in my life. Put peace in my marriage. Mm. Put peace with my family, God. Put mm. peace in this church. Let there be peace on our church staff. And so that's a five post. Then we leave there and we go those seven golden candlesticks. It's a hollow thing. Whatever you poured in one, uh, you could just keep pouring because it would come up and they would pour that all in there. That priest went through, when he left that altar, he had a bucket of fire in one hand and he had the blood in the other hand. Mm. And when he walked through that gate, he'd go to that, that candlestick and there, was, there he'd pour that oil in. And I pray for the Holy Ghost there. That's where I pray for God to direct my step, that the Word of God is a lamp unto my feet and a light of my path. Pop. I don't pray at noontime where to go eat. I've already prayed that in the morning. I've asked God to direct my step with that candlestick, lead me to the right people. If it's a president or if it's a man under the bridge, I want to lead somebody to Jesus. And when I was at your church, when you did that we prayed that together yep. and then when we went to lunch there was a man there you remember he hadn't yep, been able to come to church he just starts crying and we yep. said oh pastor i yep. needed you and you said tony I told see you, tony, remember I told he directed you. my steps and god i told you yeah yes sir you did i told you <laughs> that lamp stamp would direct you and then then you leave that lamp stand you go to that table of showbread and everybody gets there and they talk about the word of god and that's great because but i've already handled the word of god at the laver of water so when I get there, we talk about the table that holds it. That's where I pray for you. That's where I pray for Jensen. That's where I pray for, for men that are being, that God will give me revelation, give y'all revelation. I pray for my Sunday school teachers. I pray for our Bible study team leaders. I pray for our small group leaders. I pray for all of our missionaries. So, so the bread That's the represents table, the, the Word of God. Praying for their pastor, praying yep, for that their table. spiritual leaders. Yeah. I love that. The and, fivefold. And the, the table holds that bread. That's right. You preach the bread, so the table holds that bread. So, so we pray good. for those that deliver the message. Then you leave there and you go to that altar of incense. Such a powerful piece of furniture. That's the altar of intercession. And that priest would go in there and every day he would mix up. Every day. My daddy didn't say ever, he said ever. Every day, every day, every day. And you, you pick, you do a fresh mixing there and you do the work of the apothecary. And I tell you what's happened. Ecclesiastes 10 and 1 has happened to a lot of our ministries. And that's where they said they found a fly in the ointment of the apothecary. We're not fixing, we're not mixing up fresh praise and prayers to our God. Wow. And it's become stinking in God's eyes. Wow. And he said, you get to that, you get to that altar so of intercession. He said, you mix up something fresh. <laughs> Give me a fresh prayer. And that's where I intercede for my family. And I intercede for my children. So See, God, turn, turn it like this. Save my children. Turn yes. my family, oh God. Turn mm. it and I intercede. Fresh. And then that's where you take off that cloak. You've had on that priestly garment. Right. And you've got blood on it. You've had it all the way. That's where you take it off. And the Bible says they put on that white linen garment. And then you go into praise to all worshiping God. And you give him glory and honor Hallelujah. for the things that he has done. And Jeez. you start worshiping God. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. My God. And then... Then you come to those. Then you come to the veil. Because you have to be clean. You got to be clean. Here we're going. We're going to there. Watch this now. You get to the veil. The veil's been torn. We know there's no veil. But in the Old Testament, you're praying. It was a veil and it had four posts. That's Bible. Four posts is Bible. But what what Dad did is he named those four posts. And the reason why the veil represented his flesh, because when he died, the veil was torn. Wow. So Dad named them Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So when you get to that veil, you pray the Beatitudes. You pray his parables. You pray his life. Mm. You pray to be like him and to talk like him and to, and to uh, move like he moved and walk like he did. Mm. Then, when you get through with that, you're moving into the holiest of holies. We started at the altar, and now we're at the Ark of the Covenant. And that's no small thing. Yeah. And on top of that ark was that mercy seat. And that priest would take that blood of that lamb that he had mm. slain, which we know is the lamb of God. Hallelujah. And you put that blood on that mercy seat. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me mm. all the days Praise of my life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so that's, yeah. that's where I ask God to forgive me. Because no matter who I am or what I am, I ask God to forgive me. 
And that's where I repent. And I lay before God and I repent. And, and, and mercy, no, I, I don't repent there. That's where I accept his forgiveness. Yeah. And then I leave there. And inside that ark, and this is important, let me tell you, uh, Jensen, when he was there the other day, it's the first time I met him, but when he was there and was praying in this tabernacle, he said, we need to return to holiness preaching. Let me tell you, we need a baptism of holiness to hit the we ministry do, and man. to hit our churches. Amen. Amen. We need to preach and believe holiness. It's a, it's a call because we're in the Ark of the Covenant days. We're there in his presence. Mm. And inside that Ark was that, was that manna and, and, and that manna, which is the Word of God. And then the Ten Commandments. I pray, God, I love you. I don't want to put no God before you. I don't want to so take good. your name in vain. Uh, God, I, I give honor to Mother and Daddy and Pop and Mom Lumpkin. Uh, I, I honor the Sabbath. Uh, I don't want to murder anybody. And I don't mean with a gun. Sometimes you can do it a three-inch tongue can slay a six-foot man. So I pray for God not to so let me murder good. people with gossip or talking. And I get to adultery. God, let me protect myself. Build walls around me. Guard my eyes. That's guard great. my mind. Don't let me covet what my neighbor has. Don't let me lie. I list all those commandments. And then when we get through with that, then I go and I go pick up that rod of authority. And that's the name of Jesus. Let me tell you what's getting ready to happen. There's getting ready to come a revelation of the name of Jesus like we've never seen. Yeah. We're going to see a revelation. We've got to understand, Amen. in my name, they shall cast out devils. In my name, they shall lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover. There's coming a revelation of the name of Jesus for we apostolics and for the nominal world like you've never seen. He said, whatever you do in word or deed, you do it all in the name of Jesus. Name of We're Jesus. getting ready to see, Tony, a revival of the name of Jesus like we have never seen. Praise and God. I feel God's presence here Praise right now. God. How much time do we have we, left? We, we literally have three minutes, but I want, I want Sister Megan well, I to come, to go to and, and this is yeah. what we're going to do. In, in the name that is above every Praise. other name, the name Praise. of Jesus, I, Sister Praise. Megan is coming, Sister Vesta uh, Megan, who's the mother of prayer. prayer here. Yeah. I want us to pray. Jensen, would you help us pray for our country? Would you help us pray right now for the United Absolutely. States? And, and, then, and then I'll turn it to Sister Megan to pray as well. She's on her knees as well. This is a holy moment. Father, Hallelujah. in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord, and we ask you for revival across yes. our nation Hallelujah. and the world. Yes, Let Lord. it start in Jerusalem. Yes, Let it, Lord. We pray for Israel. We pray for this nation, and we pray for the church, spiritual Hallelujah. Israel. Yes. We pray for an awakening, a revival, an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, that bucket yes, of fire yes. that he talked about, Lord. And God, we just pray mm. for our leaders, our president, our Congress, our our Supreme Court, may righteousness reign in our nation again. Send a move of your spirit to the church again in yes. Jesus' mighty Jesus. name. Pastor Anthony, would you pray for just a moment, and then I'll turn it to Sister Mangan. Uh, Tony, I want to ask everybody that's watching by way of TV or, or your smartphone or whatever, get on your knees right now. God wants to do something for you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. There's a revival that wants to happen right now in Jesus' name. God, on the authority and the right power of your name, I pray for a revelation of your name to break out, God. Yes, I pray that we understand the power that's yes, in your name Lord. and the authority that's in your name, in your God. Name, Let it consume us in power. Yes, Bless us with a mighty outpouring mighty of the Holy outpouring. Ghost, God, the Holy Ghost. across this nation, yes, around Lord. the world. We speak it in Jesus' name. Jesus now, name. Lord, let there be a shaking at the <laughs> yeah, we'll in the fourth that. chapter of the book of Acts <laughs> when they lifted Lord up their God. voices in one mind and one accord. Yeah. Yeah. And they began to call on your name. Yeah. The place wherein they prayed was shaken. Shake, it, oh God. shake, shake every it. church, shake every pastor, shake every minister, shake every home. Shake Let there be a shaking in this nation. Let there be a shaking in our churches. Let there be a shaking in our Jesus. own lives. Uh -huh. Your name Jesus. that's above every oh. name. There is no name like your name. There's none other name under heaven no name. given among men whereby we must yes. be saved Praise than that God. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let it flow out of this place in today, Jesus Lord. Name. Jesus. Let it flow out of in our Jesus lives. Name. Hallelujah. Let Hallelujah. it flow to Jesus the sick name. and the holy and yeah. the bruised. Yeah. Yeah. Would you praise God all over this studio tonight? Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. In these last 30 seconds, in the name of Jesus, be healed, be delivered, be restored. I speak healing to your body. I speak healing to your marriage right now. By the power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, healing come on you now. 
deliverance come on you now. Reconciliation come. Restoration come. All over the United States, a revival of prayer, a revival of salvation, a revival of holiness, a revival of consecration. Because God is lifted up. Thank you so much for watching tonight. God bless you. God prosper you. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you, Matt Lori. We bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.